Thank you, Federica. You know, I, I have traveled to the region several times, visiting countries hosting this very large number, millions of Venezuelan refugees and migrants. And I have to say that um, I have been impressed by a couple of things. One, by the extreme dignity with which Venezuelans face their exile and their hardship, which is considerable in many of the places where they find themselves. And two, I have been impressed by uh, the support that they have received from host communities and host countries. And let's face it, this is not a traditional or what we, co what we commonly uh, imagine as a refugee crisis. These are people that live in communities. Children go to schools of the countries where they are hosted. Uh, if they have health problems, they benefit from the health services. So the burden, the responsibility of host countries is huge. And most of it has been borne by the host countries themselves. So I think that this uh, conference was a very welcome opportunity to thank those, the host countries and to show them some concrete response. And for this, let me really say that uh, we appreciate Federica Mogherini's uh, leadership. Uh, she, uh, it's thanks to her that we could put together this important conference. Uh, at the end of her tenure as high representative is, in my opinion, even more significant and uh, 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 symbolic of a long engagement to address international crises, including their humanitarian aspects. Um, I want to just flag a couple of additional points. One is that um, uh, the crisis continues, unfortunately. Um, we all agreed in the conference that it is important to look at root causes because how sustainable it is to mobilize resources for such a large number of people, you know, four and a half million people that have left, thousands leaving every day, mostly through the Colombian border, uh, but also to Brazil and then on, and, and Guyana and onwards to other countries in the Caribbean and in Latin America. We heard uh, statements from countries that are thousands of kilometers away and, and host hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans. Some of them have gone on foot all the way uh, to this, on these terrible journeys. So uh, to highlight this crisis, which is a bit away from us here in Europe, I think has been a big achievement of this conference. And finally, I want to say that, uh, first of all, it is very important that there were $120 million in fresh pledges uh, on top of what has been pledged before at something that was not supposed to be a pledging conference. But I think it is important now to work on even more substantive support. In two weeks' time, just a little bit over two weeks' time, mid-November, um, the Quito process, the Quito countries will meet in Bogota. This is very important because the Quito group is also about harmonizing their own responses to this flow, including uh, what type of uh, documentation people need and have to move across this region. Very important also to, in order to allow these people to have stability wherever they go. And we're inviting countries to, uh, uh, to exercise maximum openness and flexibility. In exchange, of course, uh, 